morning. Welcome to Party for the Planet. We are Agency 145. My name is Leslie Deshaunt and I'm one of the account executives. We have a fun-filled day planned for Earth Day 2014, which as you know falls on the Tuesday of Orange Crush Week. Our main theme is Party for the Planet, but we have also incorporated Green Crush to complement Orange Crush. We have done extensive research on the history of Earth Day and how different areas of the world participate. First, I'm going to tell you about some of the facts that we found on nationalgeographic.com. Earth Day began with 1960s activism when the environment was in visible ruins and people were determined to make a change. April 22, 1970 was the first official Earth Day since then, Earth Day is celebrated every year by over 1 billion people in over 180 nations. And that's the research that we did for Earth Day to kind of show you why we came up with some of the themes we came up with and the events that we have also planned. And I'm also going to talk about the Generation Y and Millennials, which you know makes up most of our campus today. And we found on entrepreneur.com a couple of ways to motivate Generation Y and Millennials. So we've incorporated some of those with our planning. Uh, for the first one is multitasking and what we came up with was different events happening at different times to keep people in, in to keep people interested. If they don't like one event they can participate in another or multiple at the same time. Also collaboration is another theme that we've included. The collaboration part comes from not only businesses in Ada, but also campus organizations to kind of both get them more interested in campus activities and events. Also, we've included structure, which comes from the schedule that we have, the times and specific different, you have to register for certain events, and also technology. We have incorporated social media, which I'll talk about later because that's, everybody knows that's how to get most of us interested in anything. And also relationship building. As I mentioned before, building the relationship between the community and organizations on campus, and also events on campus to get people to think, hey, I want to attend the events on campus. And also engaged leadership. We're giving the campuses or the organizations on campus an opportunity to lead by making their own booths and basically putting out there what they want to for the students to recognize them and communication. So those are the ones that we used and now I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Seifert. He's our logo and design guy. Hello everyone. Uh, so we've come up with uh, a visual theme for the day for the event. It's Party for the Planet. We used uh, an orange, you know, related to ECU, and then plus the green, typical colors for Earth Day. Uh, there's several several elements I've divided it down into, and there's uh, three base colors plus plus black um, for everything we've done. Um, we've themed everything across, um, you know, from the handouts. You know, we have a flyer. We have a copy of um, the T-shirt. Uh, we have an example sign for what a booth could do. We're really uh, um, the scheduling, you know, all these things use the same fonts, the same colors across it, so it's all you know tied together really well. Um, for example, that sign, uh, the example sign, we each booth will have a sign um, telling you know what the booth is. You know, the example I printed out for you is Photo Club. Um, we have some more um, on in a, in a file that we're going to give you guys later uh, to look at. But it each it you know has some fun facts about, um, in this case, photography. But each organization or business you know would present uh, or would have their own. You know, interesting things to keep you know to keep everything uh, real interactive and fun. Uh, so that's the uh, you know the the design that we've worked on for the event. And uh, next is Miss Manuel. All right, hello. My name is Taylor Manuel. I'm Miss Deshaunt's assistant. Um, I'm going to kind of tell you about the tentative schedule that we have for you that day with all of our events. Um, from 10 to 3, we're going to start off with live music and booths from the different organizations on campus and from here in town. Um, at 12 p.m., we'll serve lunch. 
From 12.30 to 3, we'll have a water gun fight across campus. From 4 to 6, we'll play a flag football game that will be tied in with the green theme. Um, from 4.30 to 7, we'll have dinner. And then at 9 o'clock, we'll end the day with an astronomy viewing. So now we'll go to Emily, and we're going to go more in depth with the events going on that day. I'm Emily, and I am the PR assistant for Miss Holmes. And I'm going to talk to you about the different booths that we're going to have set up, because we mentioned that we'll have booths, but I don't think many people realize just how many different groups and organizations are going to be involved. So on the student side of things, um, campus organizations and clubs, we've got the Audio Video Club, the uh, Club Prad, the PR and Advertising Club in this department, the Science Club, and the Photography Club. And then we've got departments like the Cartography Department will have a booth set up, and the Environmental Health uh, Club. The International Students will also have uh, a booth and food samples from different areas that the students come from. And then we've also got organizations like the Paper Lantern Lounge, which is a group of students here who have new artists from all around town come and uh, they make music videos and produce that in the Paper Lantern Lounge. Uh, on the local business side of things, we've got Ada's Forget Me Not Floral Shop, We've got Ada Recycling Coalition, which we previously worked with on uh, one of our campaigns related to re recycling. We've got Chartwells, which will be providing food. We've got the Chickasaw Nation, which is going to have a special exhibit. And then we've got Citizens Bank, which will also be involved with some of the food. And we've got DK's Nutrition Center um, as well to put a booth up with their exhibit. And then for our setup times, we're going to start from 9.15 to 10.15 a.m. That way we can have everything rolling by about 10.30 to 11. And then the takedown time, uh, as she said, it's going to last till about 3, so we'll start around 2.30 to 3, taking down booths and helping people get their things put up the way we need to. And so now we're going to turn it over to Tyrell, and he's going to tell you about some of the more fun activities we've got planned. Thank you, Emily. Again, she said, my name is Tyrell, my last name is Jones, I'm one of the digital designers for HSC 145, and we've really felt that we've created a few events that incorporate competitive in it, and a little bit of fun, more so fun because we feel that students, they like to have fun, they like to enjoy a day, like Earth Day, they don't like, they do like to be a little informed, but they also want to have a lot of fun, especially during Orange Crush that week, and we feel we've done that. Our first event is going to be a green flag football event and we thought that flag football would be a really nice appeal to student athletes that are on campus that want to partake in Earth Day in Green Crush. What we have decided to incorporate as a recycling theme is any participant, whether it be student athlete or a student on the campus, they will be required to take an old article of clothing, uh, take a small shred or a piece of it and either color it, dye it, or paint it uh, any certain shade of green and that will be their flag that they use during the flag football game. Also, as she said, we're going to be having food provided by Club Prad. It will be hot dogs. I've talked to the heads of that club and they have agreed to serve food throughout the entire game to anybody that wants it. And the last thing with the green flag football game, I did mention that it is for student athletes but it's also for any student that wants to participate in it as well. We want Anybody that wants to have fun, have fun, because that's what we're really making this day about, is just having fun and also being very informed of what Earth Day is all about. Our second event that we've decided to propose to you is a water gun fight. And we thought that since Ada is the city of Pure Spring Water, and every year the, there are fifth graders that are educated about the spring water, so we thought what better to do than have a water gun fight. So what we'll do is it's going to start outside the Halley Brown Ford Fine Arts Center in between Horace Mann. Students are going to be required to wear a recycled target, which would be maybe a small piece of cardboard so they can be shot with the water guns. And also the water guns are going to be donated by student clubs and, and organizations. So everybody can save money. We're all college students, so we're low budget. So that's another way to help out everybody in the long run. And with that being said, 
I'll reintroduce back Leslie. She's going to have our social media and our strong view. Okay, now we're going to talk about the social media component. Like I said before, that's a good way to get people on campus interested in certain events and also a good way to keep them informed. It's easy, it's fast, you don't have to use a lot of paper, printouts, or anything like that. So first we have a hashtag we created for Twitter, and if you're not familiar with what a hashtag is, basically when somebody tweets something, anything that they want, they can put a hashtag on the end. And it relates all the posts that have that hashtag in there. So by clicking on the hashtag through Twitter, you can see all the conversations that have been talked about through the hashtag. So we were thinking that's a good way to interest students is by any time that they, like if they're at the event or if they're talking about it, to encourage them to use the hashtag. And that will get people interested. And also, we suggest that whoever runs the ECU Twitter page to kind of live tweet the event which is basically using the hashtag, of course, and saying certain things like, hey, come join us down at, in front of the Halle Brown, we're about to have a water gun fight, or you know, posting pictures throughout the day. And so that's about it for our Twitter. And then for the Facebook, we have decided that kind of to incorporate the same type of live tweeting idea, to keep posted on what's going on, posting pictures, just generating interest for people to come down, whether they be in their dorms or they're walking around campus or they're grabbing lunch, to let them know that there is something going on on campus and where it's at and that it's fun. <laughs> and also, we have created a video, which you'll see in just a moment, that you can post on the website, where kind of where like the announcements are, and also a banner to put about or stay on to inform the students that you know that Tuesday of Orange Crush Week is going to be party for the planet and that's it for social media and now I'm going to move to the astronomy viewing that we have planned I don't know where my oh sorry okay we have planned an astronomy viewing for community members and students. They're welcome to join Dr. Rutledge while he points out constellations in the night sky to wrap up our party for the planet. Okay, now we will show the video that Luke Seifert directed and remember that we suggest to post this on ECU's website. We have a typical university with typical university students, but there is an issue hidden here. I had heard other people were doing it, just not here. And I've made it my goal to find out the truth. I never imagined to be here, I and mean, this is like a small town, you know, you think you're safe from this kind of thing, and then, and then you see one of your friends do it. I started my journey by talking to faculty and staff. We have students coming from all over the world and they bring their different viewpoints, but overall we're committed to keeping everybody at the university safe at all times. Sometimes people have a need to go against society, so intervention with professional counseling is oftentimes warranted. Well, people think this is a Democrat or liberal issue, but what we're finding is that it's beginning to affect more and more Republicans and conservatives as well. And then this happened. While interviewing this student, we caught a classmate in the act. I'm gonna regret later, you know? And, whoa, whoa, what are you, what are you doing? Hey, 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 what, is, that a, is that a water bottle? No. You're not gonna reuse those, right? No, no, I was just, no, 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 I was just, no, no way. Hey, stop, I just wanted to look at it. No, 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 stop. Recycling. Recycling. In the darkest hallways of campus, they collect the items in abandoned storerooms and sympathetic faculty members' offices to later be delivered to the recycling center. While on the outside, 
everyone seems to be against the practice. Hey guys. Hey. Are you guys uh you guys gonna recycle those cups? No. Um you know, it's an economic principle of production. We want to see businesses producing more and more to grow the economy. Hey, uh, are you gonna recycle that bottle? Uh, no, no way. You don't recycle? No. Okay. No, thank you. If we didn't bury all our trash, then what would the archeologists learn about us in the future? Uh, Chris? I met with this man who claims okay. to have insider information. I've actually been part of uh, departments that have condoned this kind of behavior. Um, and I'm out of that now, and the professors, you know, were on board, but uh, I've heard that it's gone all the way to the top, all the way to the uh, administration. Could the administration really be involved? I went to find out. Hi, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I was wondering if the, uh, President Hargrave's in. He's not right now, he's actually out in meetings. Uh, well, yeah, it's really important. I, I want to ask him about if he has any further comment on recycling. No. Uh, we've already issued a statement on that. We don't okay. really have anything else to say. About well, do you mind if I just no, you're actually, try to go you're in? No, you're not allowed in there. Um, sorry, no. Do you recycle? I do not recycle. Yes, you do. Liar. Shut up. The university is remaining tight-lipped while students are finding ways to deal with recycling on their own. My name is Joe. My favorite way to avoid recycling is using styrofoam cups, because they can't be recycled. Like, why would anyone want... Why would anyone... No. Some students are giving up, but others are standing up for what they believe. Like these students. They have a message. It's time we settle this once and for all, so join us here on April 22nd as we reveal an event that will wipe this earth completely clean of this problem. On April 22nd, all across campus, students are gathering to put into motion a plan that will solve recycling once and for all. They call it Party for the Planet. Bum, 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 bum. excited about Party for the Planet and believe that every day should be a party for the planet and we hope to leave East Central students with that thought. We're also very excited about getting the Mass Communications Department more, more involved in campus. That way people know how to do certain things like run social media and get interested in mass communications which is a, a growing field. And now we are open for any criticism, questions, remarks, anything. <laughs>